Good morning and welcome to Sunday School. What comes to mind when you hear the word armor? Do you think of a knight or a soldier? What kind of armor do you picture them wearing? The Bible teaches us that we have a real enemy, Satan. He wants to turn us away from trusting God and distract us from fighting against sin. Today, we will learn that God has given us everything we need to have victory over sin and Satan. Before we watch our Bible story, I have a task for you. I'm going to list 10 different statements. If the statement is true, I want you to rest your sword of truth on your shoulder. If the statement is false, I want you to pretend to slice it with your sword. Are you ready? We should repent of sin. That one's true. Follow your heart. That one's not true. We should follow God. God is good. Rest that sword. We should have faith in Jesus. That one's true too. Disobey your parents. Let's slice that one with our sword of truth. Do what you want. Let's slice that one too. We should do what God wants. Love others. Yep, we're supposed to do that. Good job with your sword of truth. God has given us a mighty sword to help us know what is true and what is a lie. Does anyone know what it is? It's the word of God, the Bible. Today we will learn all about the sword of the spirit and other pieces of armor. We've been learning that people reject Jesus. Our big picture question is why do people reject Jesus? Do you remember the answer? People reject Jesus because all people are born with a sin nature and want to please themselves rather than God. When people reject Jesus, they are falling right into the enemy's plans. Satan and evil spirits do not want people to accept Jesus. They want to turn people away from Jesus and make them think it is okay to please themselves. But God gave us his word so that we can learn how to fight evil's plan. Most of all, God gave us Jesus, who defeated Satan on the cross and who gives us victory over evil. Now let's watch our Bible story. Be strong. God is strong and he will give you strength. Paul wrote these words in a letter to the church at Ephesus. Paul was in prison in Rome, and he knew from experience that the Christian life was not an easy life. In fact, the Christian life is like a battle. The battle is difficult, and it is not a battle against other people. The battle is against evil. Paul told believers how to fight. Put on the full armor of God, he said. It will help you stand up against the devil who is trying to trick you. Paul wrote about the importance of being ready for battle. He said that God gives us what we need to stand strong against evil. Evil is strong, but God is stronger. These are the pieces of God's armor. First, truth is like a belt around our waist. We know what is true because God has told us about himself in his word. Truth can stand up against lies. Second, righteousness is like armor on our chest. God gives us righteousness when we trust in Jesus. Righteousness is doing the right things for the right reasons. Third, Paul said, be ready with the gospel like sandals on your feet. What God has done for us in Jesus is good news. We must always be ready to tell others the gospel. Fourth, faith is like a shield. We should take it with us wherever we go to help protect ourselves from the evil one's attacks. This evil one, the devil, wants us to doubt God and believe lies. God gives us faith to help us trust in him and obey him. Finally, Paul said, salvation is like your helmet and God's word is like your sword. A helmet protects your head. We should remember that God has saved us. A sword helps us fight off enemies. God's word, the Bible, is a strong sword. The Bible tells us what is true, and the Holy Spirit helps us do what it says. Paul told believers to be ready to fight a spiritual battle every day. People and powers who are against God will be against us too. But Jesus died and rose from the dead. He had victory over evil. We can fight the battle against evil knowing Jesus already won the war.
Every person is an enemy of God because every person sins. Jesus came to earth knowing the world was full of his enemies. The Bible teaches us that Jesus is the light of the world, but that people loved the darkness rather than the light. Still, Jesus loved people and came to save them. He came to free people from the power of sin and evil. When we trust in Jesus, our sins are forgiven, and we now have the power to say no to sin. Paul taught believers that we need the armor of God to fight against evil. Evil is strong, but God is stronger. What were the pieces of armor Paul said Christians need to put on? We need the belt of truth to stand next to the lies of the enemy. Next, the breastplate of right. Next, the breastplate of righteousness. Faith in Jesus makes us right with God and guards our hearts. Next, we need to put on the gospel of peace as sandals for our feet. We can always be ready to talk about Jesus and share the gospel of peace. Then we can put on the shield of faith and obey God through our faith in him. And we have the helmet of salvation, which helps us remember our salvation in Jesus. Finally, the sword of the spirit is the word of God that guides us in truth and cuts down the lies of the enemy. How does Jesus have victory over sin and evil? Jesus died on the cross and crushed the devil. His blood covers all the sin and the devil cannot bring up our sin against us. When Jesus rose from the dead, he defeated death and gives new life to all who believe in him. The Holy Spirit lives in believers and gives them power to fight sin. All right, now let's watch questions from kids. Hi there, I'm Pastor Kevin. It's now time for questions from kids. Coretta from Toledo, Ohio asks, Didn't Jesus defeat Satan at the cross? Why is there still a battle between him and God? Oh, that is an excellent question. And the short answer is yes, Jesus Christ did defeat Satan at the cross. Sin was nailed to the cross. Evil was nailed to the cross. And God tells us that the offspring of woman, who is Jesus Christ, will crush the head of the serpent, who is Satan. And Satan has a job, and his job is to be an accuser. He, he's constantly bringing accusations against us and waging war against us and trying to get us to sin against Jesus Christ and our holy and righteous God. But the cross provides for us salvation and security and peace. And so what's the war that's going on right now? Well, Satan has already been defeated. It's, it's already, but not yet. God has already conquered him, but he just has not completely fulfilled his purpose in crushing Satan and sending him to hell for forever. And so until that happens, until then, it is our job to put on the full armor of God and to be protected by scripture and to love joy and to love peace and to warn others that Jesus Christ is returning again and he'll return when no one knows so we should be prepared we should be ready why is it important that you put on the full armor of God I would love to hear from you if you have a question, please email me at gospelproject.kids at lifeway.com. And next time, I might be answering a question from you. Didn't Jesus defeat Satan at the cross? Why is there still a battle between him and God? Why is it important that you put on the full armor of God? All right, let's look up our key passage. It's Isaiah 53, three. Go get your Bibles. Okay, we're gonna start off in the Old Testament, which is where Isaiah is. And it is a little bit past halfway through there. And on my Bible, it's in page 752. So I'm going to turn over there. And that's what that looks like. And we are looking for the big number, the chapter number, 53. So we got to turn a lot of pages to get there. Let's see. There's 49, 51. 
stuck together. 52, there's 53 right there. See that big number? Now underneath, we need the teeny tiny number three, which is right there. And it says, he was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain. Like one from whom people hide their faces, he was despised and we held him in low esteem. Jesus was rejected by many that he came to save. But if we come to him by faith, he will never reject us. Jesus saves those who believe in him and gives them victory over sin. All right, would you pray with me? Dear God, thank you for giving us victory over sin through Jesus. We praise you for how you have given us each piece of armor to fight evil. Help us trust you and remember that Jesus is the only way to be free from the power of sin. Amen. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.